Welcome back. Today's video is special for us Linux users, as we will experience the unboxing of a laptop built with Linux in mind, the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2 from Tuxedo Computer. Before starting, I would like to thank the Tuxedo team for providing this device for review when other companies refrain from doing so. Now let's go. In addition to the Tuxedo tape surrounding the outer box, the company pastes two vertical ones to allow you to detect if someone else tried to open the package. What is this here? A Toxmas pad. This is one of the seasonal goodies that come with the company's computers. The packaging is excellent. I really like what Tuxedo is doing here. What is in the box? On the top, we have the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2 laptop. We will check it later in this video. Next, we have two slots. The left slot contains only a 65 watt charger. While in the right slot we have manual and other goodies such as a notepad, two IMD stickers and two pens. Finally we have WebPi USB flash drive for Linux system record, which is a good addition. Now let's check the laptop. The Pulse 15 Gen 2 looks attractive in addition to being light, thin, solid and metallic in texture and does not attract fingerprints. Unfortunately, it failed the one-handed opening test. But don't worry, your slight disappointment will quickly pass when you meet this beautiful display. We will discuss its specification in the review video. Above this display, we find a small webcam lens, two microphones, and I think an infrared camera. The trackpad is broad and a bit rough. That means I won't be able to use it for prolonged tasks because it will irritate my finger skin. Anyway, I will give it a try and that you know. The keyboard is full size and has large keys but it has short key travels due to the compact chassis design. You should have noticed something special about the keyboard, don't you? Yes, it is the Tox Super Key. I don't glorify the Linux logo, but the Windows logo is boring. Finally, let's check the ports. On the left side, we have a micro SD card reader, a Kensington lock, a Gigabit LAN RJ45 port, a headphone jack, one USB 2.0 Type A, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A. On the right side, we have a DC in power port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C, one HDMI 2.0 port, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A. At the end of this video, I leave you with some scenes of the first boot setup. Do not forget that the upcoming video will be a full review of the device. So, subscribe and activate the notification bell to get the notification. That was all. See you later.